Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I will be upgrading my mining towers from version 2 to version 3. The current version has two 8 inch fans that push 700 CFM each. At the bottom of the tower we have one that pushes cold air through the cards and one that sucks the hot air out. Version 3 is going to have that same setup except it's going to use two fans at the bottom to push double the air up and see if the cooling for the GPUs improved and see if that would be the best method to use moving forward with the rest of the mining towers as I buy more cards. So this is the mining room that I've built over the last six months. I have two mining towers filled with around 10 to 12 cards each. They do get hot throughout the day which is one of the main reasons why I'm upgrading to version 3 that's going to show better performance based on how much airflow is going through each tower. The current mining room we have has 10 exhaust vents at the top for hot air. At the bottom there is 20 20 amp circuits from a dedicated 200 amp panel to run this whole mining operation. This is what the back of them currently looks like. Again these are prototypes. So this is the current setup that I have at the top. That's the 1 8 inch elbow that pushes cold air using one of the fans and at the bottom I have two connectors for two more 8 inch fans that are going to push a lot more air for the setup moving forward. I pretty much laid everything out here so I can pretty much brainstorm how I'm going to start cutting into these. So this is the, um, the bottom part of the cabinet. That's the first shelf where I'm going to drill the holes to mount the fan. I'm going to have to move that up maybe 12 inches up, maybe a whole foot up so that way the fan can be mounted properly and have proper airflow coming in so it pushes air up where the cards are going to be mounted up there so let me re-drill re the factory holes that are there 12 inches up and we'll see how that works so in order to move up these holes higher so i can fit the rest of the um inline fan i drew a line of where i want it to be and then I got one of these and then I just followed the hole from here to that line and then marked it and did that for all of the holes so I have an accurate measurement so this is how I found the exact measurement of drill bit that I need right obviously I have the kit and then you just find the ones that fit and then you just drill the same holes at the top just like that, we got the holes drilled in. Um, they're as accurate as I can get them to these, the original ones, and um, we're gonna test it now. All right, so after putting the custom holes, you can see there's a lot more distance for air to be pulled in once I cut out the hole and mount the fans onto that board. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is drill a hole in the middle so that way I can guide the jigsaw a lot easier. So just, I guess, pick anywhere in the center. So for the top exhaust, um, I only have a 90 degree 8 inch elbow, so I'm just going to do it like this, but the problem is, obviously, once I connect this, this wobbles, so I'm going to have to extend this with the extra plywood that I have, and I'm going to create almost like a stand for it, and have everything drilled in so it doesn't fall out, but that should work. I'm actually going to go cut out the holes for this next. I'm gonna be using these self-drilling screws. These are for metal. So I'm just gonna tighten up around. So what I ended up doing for the top, this is gonna suck all the air out. I had to build this kind of mount. I had obviously leftover piece of wood. I'd rather use it than throw it away. And then um, this is gonna be obviously straight. I'm gonna tape this. So the next part, I'm going to be attaching these wheels to the bottom of the tower so that way I can move it around with ease. 
So I installed the bottom wheels and now I'm going to stand this up and I'm starting installing the rest. I just installed the power supply. I cut out the hole for it so that way I can pass the cables and have some ventilation going through them. So this is the best way I found that I can find the distance that I need between each card so that way they have enough air pushing through and how far they need to be from the bottom where the cold air is being passed through. That way I can fit six cards per row. So this is the prototype. We This can fit five to six cards at the top. It's gonna have two massive eight inch fans that push around 700 um, CFM. On the back, here's where the power supplies are gonna go. Um, again, prototype. So I cut out the hole so it can breathe. That way the fans push out this way. It's gonna have all three. I'm gonna tighten it with a bracket at the top. All the cables are gonna run through here. And I'm gonna mount the motherboard somewhere back here. And the bottom's gonna handle all, all of the cables um, and uh, individual power supplies. This is what the top looks like. So this is the setup I'm going to be running. Uh, H110 Pro BTC Plus mining motherboard that can hold 13 cards. The mining tower can fit up to 12 cards. This is more than enough. Uh, cheap processor, cheap CPU fan, cheap uh, RAM. And um, I have three other power supplies, 1600 EVGAs that I'm going to be using as well. So the method I'm going to take is fit this board here. Um, drill little mounting holes so I can have the board raised with the motherboard mounting screws that hold it up. Uh, I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter um, around, let's say here. That way I can just screw right through these uh, top and bottom parts. So I pretty much laid the motherboard where I wanted it and marked the holes that I want. Now I'm gonna drill the holes in and start mounting those screws. So this is more or less what the motherboard looks like once it's mounted. I can still fit all of my cables in between that. Um, once it's finished, I'm obviously gonna tape up as much as I can so the air doesn't escape from there. Um, and then the main power supply is gonna be here. It's gonna power that. And then I'm gonna jump the two other power supplies to fit all 13 cards in here. Right now, this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna mount the two fans next on there. And uh, this one's already mounted, exhaust one at the top. I'm gonna tape all of these edges, make sure everything is as sealed as I can so the hot air doesn't escape into the room. So I just mounted the CPU. I still have to mount the fans, the two intake fans, the CPU fan, RAM, and, um, and a few other things. So far, I've got the motherboard plugged in with the power supply. Um, I tested everything with one card and everything is working. I just have to start adding more cards and figuring out the whole airflow at the bottom, how the fans are going to be held up. So for this prototype, I'm mounting the fans like this. All the cables I wired up as neat as I can. This is contr this controls only the fans. This These two and the one at the top, is they're they're controlled by this unit. This, there's an app I'm using that I can remotely control this. It will remotely tell me how much wattage I'm using, how much power this is drawing. Only the fans, I'm gonna have three different extension uh, adapters here for each individual power supply. So this is the inside cabinet. The way I did this setup is these one, two, three, four, five, six, these cards, are gonna share a power supply this way and then the other one's gonna share a power supply that way because I can't run cables from here that way or here that way. Um, so the best way to do it is split it vertically instead of horizontally per power supply. So what I did to the back of the manning tower this time, I sealed it all off with this uh, tape. It's meant for like HVAC, I guess, vents. I don't know the exact name of the tape, but anyways, so I sealed off everything except obviously where the wires are going to go through. And once I have all of them, I'm going to move them to one side and seal that off as well. That way everything is pretty much vacuumed where the cards are at, so the airflow is going to be improved significantly.
So the system I'm building right now to keep things more organized is I have these orange tags that pretty much tell you what card is plugged into them in the order that I set them up at. And then the power supply has a sticker that says, you know, the power supply to the order of the cards that are plugged in and the total wattage that this power supply is using. This is a 1600 EVGA. I'm trying to keep it, well I am keeping it at 80% load. 80% is around this much, maybe a little bit more, but I'm keeping that leg room, which means this is maxed out. I have this surge protector for that power supply only that goes to the wall, the dedicated 20 amp circuit. This is a 20 amp circuit, 20 amp circuit with the sticker that corresponds to the power supply that then corresponds to the cards. That way to keep things more organized when I need to come and troubleshoot something, I know, hey, these cards belong to this power supply, which is controlled by that, which is plugged into this outlet. And I'm using this, it's like a smart switch that tells you the amount of wattage you're using. And once I'm done maxing out one power supply, then I take it off and put it onto the next one and measure my wattage that way. So that's pretty much it guys. Right now I have 12 cards running. The temperatures are looking great. I've checked on Hype OS. Um, let's take a look at the back of the tower right now. Everything is very organized. I know how to troubleshoot everything if a card needs to be replaced. At the bottom we have the power supplies labeled and everything else labeled as well. The only thing missing now is to connect the exhaust fan at the top into one of the exhaust vents at the wall. I hope you guys like my first video. I will be showing you guys what the results are on my next video. I'm going to be showing the hash rate, the temperatures, and the overall performance between each tower. And we're going to be comparing which works the best. If you guys have any questions, make sure you drop a comment, send me a private message. I will get back to you guys as fast as I can. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching.